Well, tonight, horrific images of an early morning crash in Theodore yesterday. A pickup truck left the roadway and became lodged in a drainage tunnel. Miraculously, the Irvington man survived and is in the hospital tonight with serious injuries. First responders tell us they spent hours rescuing him. First responders documented the devastating scene. A truck crushed after crashing into this culvert. The force wedged the truck deep into the tunnel with only part of the truck bed initially visible from the road. Oh my goodness. We showed the images to a woman who lives next to the crash site on Nan Gray Davis Road. She says it's the fifth wreck there in the last decade or so. It's a small um, curve right there. And when they come and they just don't slow down. That, that's my opinion, but you know. Do a lot of people speed right here past your home? Yes, ma'am. They keep having accidents. The cause of the latest crash here is still under investigation. Around 2.30 Sunday morning, Theodore Dawes Fire Rescue, a group of volunteers got the call and responded. It was a very challenging scene. That required multiple agencies assisting. For four hours, first responders worked to remove the truck and the trapped man, who state troopers now identify as 56-year-old Ricky Brokaw of Irvington. The majority of the focus was on making sure that the patients are stabilized and that we move at a very uh, slow and methodic pace to make sure that they are extricated carefully. A difficult scene that can be tough for first responders to process. That's why tonight the department's chaplain will be on hand offering counseling to make sure that everybody's okay. And then we above and beyond that, we have people that are available to help talk, uh, you know, through anything that any individual might be having issues with. Now I asked Mobile County why there aren't any guardrails or a grate there and was told due to the lower speed limit and other factors, it's not required. But in light of this crash, Mobile County Engineering will be reevaluating to see if safety improvements are needed there.